We're here in the music studio of the Esquire House at Soho Muse, downtown New York. And I'm here with Martins, Salspurens, and Skipper Wise, the founders of Blue Microphone. We are now broadening out and taking what people are recording the studio out to the live arena. There has to be a, 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 an emotional connection, and that's how we sort of look at the products. Uh, and in fact, we take, this is the Encore 100, which you're holding in your hand, and this is the box for it. Um, we don't just stop, the fact it's a cardboard box is one thing, but why not make the cardboard box great? Um, we look at every element of what we're up to, um, from the photography down the line. In fact, you notice the box is even set up this way where you can see the, the name. You know, there's a certain just appeal. Um, Ken, who is a close friend of mine, who I mentioned earlier, who is our art czar, <laughs> that's what we call him, we put a lot of effort in thinking through every aspect of the look of the mic, from the, from the grill all the way down to the packaging. Of course, we start with the technology first, because if it's not a... Uh, a great microphone sonically, then there's no need to even go this far. In fact, I sort of acquaint this as, as a songwriter. If you have a great song, then it's time to put together the band, time to put together the studio, try to get together the proper record label or the proper avenue for you to release your product and reach as many people as you can with it. So that's sort of how we approach this. In fact, each microphone to us is an album or, a, or it's a song with the microphones becoming really a, a long play album. Now, when you take the lid off, you can actually see when you hold the mic it actually is locked in here by this tab so it can actually be displayed this way which gives our retailers the opportunity to be able to let pe their customers see how beautiful the products are. The reputation already is there with blue I mean we started from the top um, it's easier to work your way from the top down in terms of quality than start from the bottom up so we've had to spend a lot of painful years to develop our understanding of sound and and develop the brand value so once you take the mic out in fact, Martin, you can hold this here. Here's another fun thing about this. You take this off, and inside are some goodies. And in fact, one of the things here, this is just the bag took a lot of effort. Um, I, always, I love this color, by the way. This reminds me, do you guys remember the Opal GTs from the 70s? <laughs> this is that tomato bisque color. Uh, <laughs> but inside, actually, you, you see the, the velour that's in here. You notice that the Encore has, whoops, that, that's yours, so we're going to let you get <laughs> The Encore here has this beautiful polished grill with the engraving in it, which talks about our, it says the model number as well as the Aria Dynamic Capsule. And it fits in here beautifully. And then, of course, you can polish your grill this way so that when you take it out, bingo. The microphone's badged, which we always, I always found this to be a, a sign of the high-end mics. It's what we've always done with Blue with our other uh, condenser microphone, so the badge is in there. As well is, there's a couple things that are really important about a live microphone. Can you drop it? And that's one of the things we've been able to do in, with this microphone and successfully not have any issues. This is a steel reinforced ring around here. You could run this over with a truck. And in fact, watch this. I just dropped it. And as you can see, there's not a dent there, is there? Important enough with, with microphones these days, if you think about a um, a musician, he or her will go ahead and, and dress a certain way on stage for their image. This also represents their art. Also, the instruments they use are an extension of that. Maybe when somebody's buying a guitar or a bass, they're looking at the colors and the finishes of those instruments. We believe that the microphone is an extension of the performance. And if a singer has this microphone, we want to make sure that he or she is in a position where they feel that this is an extension of what they're doing, that it represents the quality and the hard-earned effort that they've put into their art. And that's why we make the microphone so beautiful. It's also got some girth to it and some weight. And people have always said, my god, it feels expensive. Well, there's a lot of reasoning behind that. One, we want it to be durable because that's one of the most important things in a live situation because microphones get knocked all over the place. But also, it does give the performer a sense that he or she has something in her hand of value. The other thing that's important, and sort of just putting a little piece of paper in there with the specs on it, we actually have a manual. In the manual, efforts are all put into talking about the microphone, the care for it, frequency responses of the microphone, just so you know what you're going to get if you're a tech head. Is this the same kind of manual that you'd find in all of Blue's mics? In all of Blue, Blue's microphones, we, we take the time to really talk to our customer and educate. Because, you know, an education goes a long way. If you just buy a guitar and you don't know how to play, you're not going to be able, be able to make it sound good. It's the same thing with a microphone. If you understand a bit about the microphone, you can actually enhance your performance.